Hello internet, so welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing this server case. So we picked this up on eBay for a decent price. It was about £60 in the UK. So this is a rack mounted PC case that we are going to be uh, shifting our old server, which is currently down there, over into this. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So the box itself is actually pretty big. So. Hopefully the case is not this big because I was planning on making it fairly compact. Okay, so here we go. We've got the case out of the box. Comes in some plastic wrapping. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. So we've got a little lock at the front here. I think that's so we can get to the front I.O. and also to like where the CD drives are going to be, even though there won't be any CD drives. But Okay, so we've just got two thumb screws on the back here that are held in very tightly. These off and this unit will slide off like so. Just going to take another look at the um, case. Now it's about the size of a full tower case, but we've got obviously these uh, handles on the front. We've got space here for a, I think it's a 140 millimeter fan. Then we've got our little trap door here to expose our IO. So we open that up with a little key and we've got our five and a quarter inch uh, drive bays and we have our front power and reset switch. So we've also got two USB, uh, what are they, USB twos. What looks like an old floppy disk space there, but that obviously won't get used for that. So we've got some screw holes here so we can mount it in a uh, so we can mount it in a server cabinet. Coming inside the case, we got support here for a full size ATX motherboard, and we've got support for a standardized uh, ATX power supply, which is nice because I don't want to mess around with you know power supply. Um, units for like servers or anything like that. We've got eight expansion slots at the back here so we can have you know a graphics card, we can have uh, let's say we want um, our RAID card or whatever so uh, that's quite nice. And then we've got all our slots here for our hard drives so it looks like we've got room for about one, two, three, four, five, five or six uh, hard drives it can go in here. We can also probably get another hard drive in here and then what we could do is we could change out these two uh, bays here for hot swap bays, which can be found on eBay for about about 10, 20 quid, I think. Just looks like a normal PC case at the back with some vents here. So here we can see we've got our front I.O. connections. And then there is actually a fan pre-installed in there, which is nice. That's probably a 140 by looking at it from here. Okay, so this is our old server, the one that's going to be uh, replaced. We've got some generic old NVIDIA graphics card in here. It's probably about 20 years old. Uh, I think it's a four core CPU and I think it's uh, 1150 or 1155. I can't remember now, uh, but it is only a four core in there. Um, and then we got quite a bit of hard drive space because that's our uh, storage devices such as our NAS for our or our pictures for me and my partner so we keep all of our home videos home pictures all backed up onto here and we also have a lot of our movies and uh, videos so this needs to change because i want more processing power more ram so we can have virtual machines because i want to run some uh, virtual machines uh, on the home server so here's another little server i've set up this is quite compact this is for our uh, security cameras and in here we've got a 6 core and it's on a Xeon platform which is I think 1356, so a bit of an unusual platform this one but I quite like this uh, build, it's using a S SFX power supply I think and uh, yeah I use this for a little uh, NVR for our security cameras so the other option I can use is our X99 Chinese motherboard and our £20 six core CPU. Problem with this one, we've only got two uh, RAM slots for our DDR3 or DDR4. Um, again, I've covered that in another video, but we also only have four SATA connections for our um, hard drive. So that might be out the window, even though it's a good low power uh, server chip. 
So our other option, we can use our Asus X79 Sabertooth motherboard, and this has got a 4930K 6-core processor in there, and I've also got eight, um, sorry, 16 gigs of uh, RAM uh, DDR3, so I'm probably going to use this because I've got the most amount of RAM spare. I'm not using it for anything, and it's um, it's got loads of SATA connections on there as well. So here's my little collection that I'm going to be Frankensteining together to go in our new server rack. So thanks for looking at the unboxing of my server case. If you're tempted to buy this case, it was about £60 on, on eBay, so a pretty good deal. And then I'm going to whack in uh, a pretty beefy server into here because I want to uh, run a lot of virtual machines and also probably have it as my main server so I'll have all my uh, Plex and uh, NAS in here as well so um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, goodbye